Hey guys, um, I'm using my platform today to talk about something that came up um, and I want to address it. It's an issue that um, is very scary to me. Um, I ran into a person who truly believed they were an empath and they were not. Um, they had very, very strong psychic gifts, very strong manifestation skills, very strong understanding of the law of attraction, um, a true belief in psychic gifts, um, and all that. However, they really did believe they were an empath when they were not. Um, they showed none of the classic signs of empathy. They um, shut down and only cared about self like very much like a normal person does, like a typical person. And so I need to address the fact, and I do believe that this person truly believed they were an empath, and I believe someone told them they were an empath. And that's what scares me. And I want to explain the difference between empathic gifts and psychic gifts. Empathic gifts is the ability to feel other people's feelings. I was born an empath. I feel what other people feel. If someone tells me I'm doing something to hurt them, I have to fix it. Um, I don't ever want to hurt anybody ever. And if someone thinks I'm trying to hurt them, I have to fix it. I can't just ignore it. It's it's just something. That, and, and if I'm ever seeing somebody hurting, I have to try and help them. It's, you know, we do have to learn to protect ourselves. And then once that person is like, once they hurt you, you got to protect yourself from that. But like there are, there are, there are certain signs and I can't give away too, too much because then the narcissists and the, and the parasites will get into this video and be like, oh, this is how I have to act to seem like an, an empath. It's really fucked up what they do. So I can't give away too, too much of the things that I look for when I'm looking for empathic gifts in someone. Um, but that's one of them. If, if someone's saying you're hurting me and you're hurting me and you're hurting me and that person can just ignore that and not do anything, like that's a sure sign that they don't have empathic gifts. So it's like it, the need to make people feel better is a part of empathic gifts and that's not just one of them. So that's about all I'm going to say about that. When someone has psychic gifts, however, they can do infinite amount of things. And luckily, I was also born with psychic gifts where I can predict futures and read tarot cards and, and do some weird shit. I am, God blessed me very much with both gifts, with both things. And then I've done the work to develop my psychic gifts and my empathic gifts so that I took what God gave me and I amped it. Um, but there's a massive problem when I see human beings walking around thinking they're empaths and they're not. That is not, that's, it's, it, and then they think that whatever they're doing is empathetic, and it's not. It is the opposite. It is narcissistic. And um, just because you have psychic gifts doesn't mean you're an empath. Just because you're an empath does not mean you have psychic gifts. And I need to make that as clear as possible. You can be a talented, talented psychic and not be an empath, but I'm, and I'm not judging you. You're just not an empath. <laughs> you can be an empath and have zero psychic gifts whatsoever. Guess what? I'm not judging you. You're an amazing person and an empath, and, and, and that should be celebrated. And maybe you can try and develop some psychic gifts. And maybe a psychic can try and divide empathic gifts. I'm not, I don't know. I think that developing psychic gifts is, is much easier than developing empathic gifts. You either, you're, I, I truly feel like you're either born an empath or you're not. Psychic gifts can be worked on, can be developed. And I've seen people develop them and then, or I've made people aware of psychic gifts. Then they were like, oh shit, I have the psychic gift. Then they develop it and it's like, you know, I've seen that over and over and over again with my work with my clients. Um, but this recent experience was very disturbing to me. This person truly believed they were an empath and were not. And I don't, I, I truly believe that they thought that they, they were. I truly believe that. They are not. And there's nothing wrong with that person for not being an empath. I'm not judging them for not being empath. 
but they sure thought I was. And uh, there was no way I could tell them that I wasn't judging them for not being an empath. I was just breaking some bad news. Sorry, sweetie, you're not an empath. Sorry that hurt. Ouch. It's like a Sour Patch Kid. The yellow one. I mean, shit. Someone tried to tell me that. I mean, I've proven it. I've proven both my psychic and my empathic gifts. No one can tell me now. I'm a professional light worker. I've proven my shit. But if you come to me and you have no car facts, none whatsoever, and tell me you're an empath and you want me just to believe you, that's not going to happen either. You really need to be okay with what you got and not be jealous of people who've got both. You know, I mean, it, it, you just learn from them. You don't, you don't get jealous. I mean, it just, I think that's what happened. I can only be me. I can only be my empathic and psychically gifted self because that's how God made me. And I love it. And I'm so blessed. And I thank God every day. And if you want to learn how to develop things, then I am happy to guide you. But if I say, look, sweetie, I'm not seeing much of an empath in you, but I am seeing really great manifestation skills. Let's build on that. And, and, and you chew me out. It's not. I mean, and then it's like, and, and if, if you can't empathize with other people when they're in pure fear of something or then you really, and then you call yourself an empath. You've got to really, you've really got to rethink that title. You've really got to think about, am I an empath? Was I able to truly feel what that other person was feeling or not? And, 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 and that's, that's, it's, it's a self-discovery thing, you know? But if someone says, I don't see empathic gifts in you, please take them seriously and please at least for the meantime, stop calling yourself an empath until you can develop better empathic gifts. That's all I'm saying. Um, so that's a little overview of the difference between empathic gifts and psychic gifts. Um, I'm not going to go too much further. I'm going to get started on the Aquarius reading, but I wanted to address that. And I wanted to really make you guys understand that no one's better than the other. It's just that we were all born differently. And if, if you have empathic gifts, do what you can to develop them, right? If someone has told you you're an empath, think about it. See if you resonate with that. See if that's something that you would even want. Because being an empath is so overrated sometimes. I can promise you that. And the numero uno sign of an empath is someone who hates society. They, I, you're not going to be this one love fucking high vibe person all the time when you're an empath. You're a fucking miserable motherfucker. You want to know why? Because 90% of the fucking human race is a miserable motherfucker. And you feel that all day until you learn how to block it out. And if you're one of these people that walks around, one love. I mean, yeah, there's a space and time for it. Unity consciousness is real. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh my God, please bring me some unity fucking consciousness for once. Actual unity consciousness for once. But that's not ever going to, it's like, it's like even people who talk about unity consciousness don't even understand it. Yeah, I, 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 I. Real empaths feel everything. Real empaths feel negative, positive, all of it. And, and no light worker is perfect either. And to expect perfection of anyone is wrong and, and only empaths wouldn't see, only a non-empath rather, would see that humans have to be perfect 100% of the time. So, um, I implore everyone to really think about what your psychic gifts are and embrace those first. Don't try and fit the mold 
of what someone else told you, if that's not who you are or if another psychic has said, look, I don't, or at least you're not an empath right now. In this, in this alternate universe, you are not an empath. And maybe in other alternate universes, you are. And with other people, maybe you are. But with me, you certainly ain't. So please, you know, like, it's, it, please, get in touch with self. Okay? I love you guys so much. And I'm going to do the Aquarius reading. I just really needed to get that off my chest. There are people in this world walking around thinking they're empaths and they're not. And that scares the fuck out of me. Okay. Bye, guys.